Hey YouTube, uh, I got my uh, CPUs in, but not really happy because uh, this is the third time I had to get CPUs replaced. Well, out of a $700 order of uh, these Intel, uh, they don't really have names on them, but as you guys can see, resistors are already damaged on two, so I can only use one server. But I'm just going to test it and probably return it, but and stick with 210 cores, I don't know, I'm just really irritated now but uh, they're Intel Confidential, and these are uh, they are, where is the there it is. I'll cover up my address but oh, I like this baby Okay, so those are them, and for that kind of price, I'd probably expect a better type of uh, service. I was expecting these to be packaged separately, but this Ding Dong company off eBay just sticks in this little box and it puts them between these little little pillows. I mean, are you ridiculous? I mean, they ship a server like that way better compared to a tiny chip and this is the third time I even told them specifically is to ship these properly so my words really didn't um, follow up through them I don't, I don't think they uh, get it it the uh, let's see what is the they are golden fortune semiconductor let me I'll show you guys so you guys can see it and uh, for the future, I wouldn't buy from these guys. So yeah, but you know what? For the testing, I will uh, use four and put them in the R7 28. Everything is R7 20, R8 10. I already turned it off, and you guys will let watch me do it. Uh, pretty much, I'll just test it and see if there's any improvement compared to having four versus two. Probably is, probably is. It's hard to say. Probably a lot of people will say, oh, there is a big difference, but we'll uh, install it. We'll pull out these two drives. Since I want to keep my ESXi the same way installed, I'm just going to pull these out. Keep them like that. So those will be exactly how they are. And uh, so we got the server pulled out. Um, as I said, was. Uh, Every time this comp any company ships me a product that is damaged and takes forever, I'm going to take my sweet happy time shipping it back. And if they don't message me, I'm keeping it. I don't care. I'm just tired with all these companies. So, we're going to pull out all these CPUs. Put that. This is actually the uh, flex memory bridge heat sink but there's no heat coming out of it just a little shroud to protect it that's the thing they don't get hot at all they're a little bit warm these guys are but, um, yeah just a little irritated like a few other uh, YouTube followers I follow um, they bought like R710s and they got shipped out crappy but they got lost and just just really annoying and for a $700 order to be damaged like that, that makes sense if it's something huge, but this is a tiny little chip. <laughs> so, oh well. I'm going to pull out every single socket. There we go. This is a flex memory bridge which allows the CPU to utilize the other RAM slots with two CPUs or one CPU. That is the reason for that. There's good CPUs that I'm going to actually keep. If all this doesn't work out well, I'm just going to end up using the PlayStation. There we go. 10 course probably should be enough, but you know what? We'll see. 
we'll just do this testing for this video and see how it goes. So, we're going to use two good CPUs. As you guys can see, all resistors are on here and here and here. So, we're going to take this one. Looking good. Let's see that down. We'll lock it. We're going to take the next one. Inspect the rear. Everything looks good. A little dust there. I'm going to get a different one. Hold on. There we go. A little speck of dust. Got that off already. Okay. And put that one there. See, on video, this bucket dust is gone. That's good. I'm going to be so irritated if these things don't post. Because they're confidential chips. Uh, how's this one? That's the dirty one. Oh, well, looks like we got an email, eBay message. One of those holes. <laughs> okay. There's that. And then, since I still have to do my paste on these, I'm going to just keep them. It's not recommended, but we're just server's going to be used for benchmarks quickly. And... Two. And then I got my good old thermal paste right there. For the other two sockets, I'm gonna have to try to hold the camera and do this at the same time. It's a little fun. Let me pause the video and then we'll come back. So we got the force CPU installed when it just came in. And also when I paused the video I did a quick reply to the eBay seller. Sent them more pictures, so we'll see what they do. Told them I'll file a complaint with eBay. That's what your eBay sellers don't like to see. So they'll do a refund or that or I'll ship it back. But that's their two choices they have. Um, so yeah, right now we're gonna put the one on hard drive in install uh, windows on it and then we'll do a test of the CPU so I'll bring you guys back once windows is up and running so we'll bring you guys along the ride to install server 2012 I decided to let you guys see how fast it installs and it was pretty quick with 210 cores but now since we got 410 cores let's see what happens Oh, here I'll punch in the product key and I'll come back to you guys. There we go. So we got the key in. And we're going to do it with the GUI since we want that. And I only put a solid state drive in there. It's a like a 25 gig, but I don't need any more. Um, yeah, 25, 22 allocator. Boom. So let's see how this, how quick it does it.
since we're uh, halfway, I uh, going to fast forward the previous, which you guys saw. I was a little quick speeding it up, but right now, since we're 55% in copying files or getting ready, I mean, those both both things, so it gets them in copies of files. But um, I would say it's less than like, approximately a minute. I would have to go back and look, a minute and some seconds. But it's overall doing pretty quick. Um, what you guys see? Just one SSD and copy. And did you guys see the power difference? So this one right here is my one that's still in production. 386 watt. 312, it fluctuates. It's not bad at all. This one, this big look at it, he's chugging a 400 and let's see that. 422 just for those four CPUs. So we'll see if those 200 watts made a big difference or 175. I just do see a performance increase. So, we'll see. And then for the benchmark testing, I will do you guys a separate video for that since this one's a little bit a little bit long for what it is. Um, the other one will be much shorter. It'll be just descriptive and quick for the sign bench testing and I'm going to use a passmark the previous test I used and uh, we're going to run those in a separate video so you guys can uh, watch this one or watch that one but yeah so now since the server is rebooting I'm going to install the quick uh, drivers for the BIOS not the BIOS the controllers and all that stuff get it off the Dell quickly I already think I already have it downloaded but um, I'll install that and uh, I want to let you guys see the boot up with the 410 cores see how it shows up um, other than that, I mean, they're nice CPUs, but for them being damaged and everything. And they're wanting me to do an RMA for these two, but I told them this project's worthless already with six CPUs, so. Told them I want my money back, and if they're going to tell me to ship it back, they can have it back. But I'm not going to, uh, um, mess around anymore. I'm going to stick with 210 cores, 2860s, and be happy with it. So, we're now rebooting the RE10 current firmware. This is the only way you can run four of these CPUs is to have that firmware. For 2.4 gigahertz, 30 megabyte cache instead of 24. Uh, 112 gigs, 1067, 1.5 volts. It's high voltage memory. Can't use low voltage DIMMs when you use four CPUs. It's not recommended and it's not actually it's required. So now we're going to be booting into Windows. I got my Hydrex set up nicely. So after installing uh, Windows and all that, I uh, go away for a minute and uh, one of the CPUs, I don't know, just acts up and uh, I get an amber display on the server and it's saying uh, it was like system fault or something and they just kept rebooting itself on a loop and I was like you're kidding me so now it's actually more than just two CPUs it's probably two or three I don't know so putting it back together um, I will leave the process of how I installed Windows installed pretty quickly but I will put in the video so you guys can see it but I did not get to do it a uh, benchmark test really irritated but I told the company I bought this is I uh, want this stuff all this crap shipped out I am not going to pay for shipping and uh, if they don't reply with them quickly they're going to be a, having a dispute from uh, me via pay I mean, eBay but um, other than that yeah so I'm gonna put it back on put the drives back in and uh, booted it back up into uh, ESXi yep and there's the cover on other than that guys I really upset I couldn't do the um, I love these easy rails they're awesome I could not do the initial test with the four CPUs 
I might get the higher version of, uh, what did I do? Gotta fix that, knocked off my rail, too much pressure, hold on. There we go, got it wired back up and uh, powered on. So. Make sure everything heats up nicely. Everything good. System booting. No amber display. It's perfect. Yeah, really annoying guys. Really annoying. And then this is supposed to be a trusted seller. I even disclosed it in the in the message when I told them I was like, please individually sh pack each one. Okay, we will do that. Nope. They come in as little boxes with them packaged just like on top of each other, just like that. So yeah, not too happy at all. Really, really annoyed. Um, Be booting up to you inside, but yeah, that's pretty much a little uh, update to uh, the video. So now, as you can see, our uh, good CPUs right up there. We go. So, yeah, other than that, that's it. Like, subscribe, share for the video, guys. Uh, that import the configuration, but yeah, until next time, guys.